So MI5, amazingly, sent somebody to uh, Anchorage, Alaska. I know my people talk To meet with someone from the White House to arrange uh, the upcoming. person almost couldn't make it back to London. Somebody sabotaged the plane. On the very same day, a Navy wonk, a technical expert of a nuclear weapons, particularly the W-25, was aboard a plane uh, from coming from San Diego to San Francisco. John Brennan, you know, is the DCI. Well, he had gotten chatter that someone had been able to uh, re reconstruct a tactical nuclear weapon, possibly a yield of a three three kilotons. And this person's plane almost was brought down by terrorists. And last but not least, there was even a third possibility, a third plane. But I don't need to go into that. But it involved a hacked, um, it was a British Airways plane, a hacked avionics panel system. So anyway, now my wife told me all about this. Is my wife. Think of her as God, like female version of God. But she's my wife. Anyway, so now today, boys and girls, we do in fact have the possibility that a tactical nuclear weapon, possibly a W-25, enhanced to a three kiloton yield, may actually be, have been aboard a plane coming from, well, coming into uh, Reagan. It's an American Airlines plane. It was inside a lead line casket. Now, if that plane actually arrived and they secreted, that is, well, put somewhere deep in the ground that attacked the weapon. The president and Mrs. Obama, Michelle Obama, may never get to see the queen. Because the plane had a very deadly cargo. And there's also the other thing with the White House and the conference room, but let's not go into too many things. So for Operation Officer Windfall, asking you, when am I going to get paid? Really? Seven years working for the fucking spooks? As a knock? Seven goddamn years! And I ain't got a goddamn penny! I'm supposed to get $55,000 a year, plus per diem.